back again on this lovely Extra Life Saturday for 2015 for Episode 3, Chaos Theory in Life is Strange. In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa! We called film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm so sick is. of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> We're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody <coughs> What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. I still can't stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bed. Sorry, Lisa. Too much water. I can't even keep my plant alive, much less Kate. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be...
This is my prayer for you, Kate. Bless your gentle soul. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. I think we're all responsible for what happened. Not you, Max. You were close to her. Doesn't matter now. Kate's dead. Tell that to Victoria and the Vortex Club. Dana, there's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex Club being mean. So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson got reamed by the principal. Do you think they're involved? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now, but people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Victoria must have her own power if she found time to steal this from my room. <laughs> Good job. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Well, well. Maybe Victoria isn't a monster after all. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Those boots are made for walking runways. <laughs> I hope Kate finally has her wings now.
Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. But I should take this picture first. Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright, Principal Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. Stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I, I'm still upset about Kate. I needed some air and space to walk. I'm sorry you had to go through that today. You tried to help, but... God damn it, Blackwell is my responsibility. And I... I let her and Kate down. Go on back inside. Get some rest. It's been a shitty day. Good night, Max. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? <clears throat> Max the Ninja strikes again. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm... I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but... I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. It didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. <clears throat> I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's gonna bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players. And find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh right, except for your ability to... Oh yeah, manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Mr. Jefferson in trouble. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody, even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Dead? I'm sorry. I hate even saying that, Chloe. Not as much as I hate thinking it. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. 
I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm like still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Katie. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? The contest will go on. I just won't be representing Blackwell at the event this year, thanks to Max, who claims I enabled Kate Marsh's trouble by merely listening to her. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria. I won't be going to San Francisco, remember? You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? So stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. <coughs> Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. Nothing to see here. 
desolation. Key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank, but I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kinda know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. This sucks ass! Goddamn door! Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Just emptied. Nothing here. Release the Kraken! It's all mine anyway. Only three more items to go. Here's the sodium chlorate box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. You're halfway home, Max. Ooh, sugar. Only one more ingredient left. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Good evening, fish fish. Thanks, fish. Nice work. I never said they were great, troll. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is like a scene in a horror film. The tape is mine. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Where the hell am I going? There we are. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. Cool. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Welcome to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Only two more files to go. Oh, darn it. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. 
like I'm not going to read my own personal file. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The Prescotts always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly <clears throat> psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info, let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Frank knows things about Rachel and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are super, Max. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. I feel like shit for taking that money. You're not so tacky up close. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You wanna take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway, we're rich, and nobody busted us. So, Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you.
We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Boys are girls. Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. I guess I should consider this evolution. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. Oh, for just one picture of their faces when they see my name. Try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. In case I run out of air, I know where to come. Time to do or dive, Max. Oh yeah, baby, feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie! Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. 
Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out why for Kate's sake. She didn't deserve to die. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. <coughs> You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Thank God. But what if I had? What if you and Kate would both be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Warren is... Nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hi! We have to go now. Just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where are they? Hello? Hello? Anybody there? Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. We are so invisible. Let's veil. Shit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. 
crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car! Get in! Always remember this moment. <clears throat> Photo-hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing, but I think we have to walk. I keep waving at the taxis, they keep turning. Okay, I need to get dressed now. like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. <coughs> She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans, but it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. 
Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. Maybe not. <laughs> Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast. I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise What's not so to fail. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Oh my god, that smells so amazing. <sighs> it's like when we were kids here. No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. <whistles> Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. For everybody else in the neighborhood, it's just another morning. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel! Uh, I, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William. And he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from a stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problemo. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Now for the mother's milk. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. David, this is Officer Corn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break ins. What? Give me a call <sighs> soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. 
Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. I hate to even think this, much less say it out loud, but... I think Rachel is in serious trouble. I know. I watch those awful true crime shows, and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So I don't think too much. I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? What? Uh, no way. I know I was <clears throat> selfish when I left. I'm glad Chloe found a better friend. No, just a different one. Last time I saw you and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. And when you took the rap for that joint, you proved it. Thanks. But it seems like Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila. A breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> Go sit at the table. Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. <laughs> now that's what I call pancakes. I guess nobody waters the plant here. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And... <clears throat> I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. This was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Geez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. 
Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Thing to see here. Maybe I could try Stepdad for the password. I could try the license number for the password. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Nope. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. <sighs> Try again. No way, stop. Such wrong. No way, stop. David has been dragging <clears throat> his head around since 2001? Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. That's cute. Could be a password here.
Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Score, Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa. Spoiler alert, Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. Ugh. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras. So he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Listen, we don't know that David did anything and nobody has any proof against him. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. I would cut David slack here. Oh, would you? How generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting, or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates, or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. Enough! I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? Maybe I went too easy on David for Joyce's sake. Thanks again for defending me, Max. But this is my family now. Thanks for letting me down again, Max. Why can't you just rewind so I don't have to see you defending that asshole? Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. 
If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> you have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. Well, that's sweet. In other... What the fuck now? Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. <coughs> you eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! <laughs> what the fuck now? Ugh. Gotta go back further. You eat like a pig. No, I didn't want to do that. I was eating those beans. Ah.
You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with go Could I get you to drop Chloe? Are you supposed to? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, God. <coughs> hmm. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know... Just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Hmm. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit? That was classic watching you turn on your everyday hero Jefferson yesterday. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, because you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. What can I do for you, Max? Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell, with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? What the fuck now? You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. He brought. Now back to Chloe.
she's delightful. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. <clears throat> Throw! Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy! Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. Good to Use know Frank has a knife line. lying around. Have his computer for info. Frank is almost a maid for TV. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Crappy Wi-Fi out here. Let's take my blade will open any portal. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm, trouble in paradise. Is Frank going to deal online now? That's a pretty extreme lighter. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! You totally defended Step Stalker! Fuck everybody! Chloe!
Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh... Yes, Kate Marsh killed herself. She's dead. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel better about my fucked up life, get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. I can tell. But look at everything that's happened the past week. Your life has changed mine, and that's not shit. I'd really love to believe that. I'd like to believe in something after what's happened. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. Rachel needs you. Oh my god, what is happening now? Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Just allow this one into the family album. No. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crimes. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13 year old self. If you want to eat How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. 
What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. I have to try. I have to. I, I was put Who here to use watching? this power to Look save William. For Chloe. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Uh, Mr. Price, in case you're thinking about using your car, I heard there's awful traffic and road construction, so you shouldn't drive at all. Max, you are the road warrior. I promise, if I have to go anywhere, I'll drive like I'm taking a test. Fair enough? Not really. I just know the roads are bad and stuff, so... so you... Since you're obviously my personal GPS, I feel safer already. So don't look so worried, Max. Listen, don't let your dad take his car today. I know it sounds weird, but please believe me. Something terrible is going to happen. You have to stop him from driving anywhere. Whatever, weirdo. What kind of thing is that to say about my dad? I'm not joking. Then you stop him, Supermax. Score. Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh, yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes, and, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries, and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome.
I'm not paying $150 for a concert. I've heard of the Vortex, so parties are filed. Dude, the service fee is like 50%. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Really wet and cold every day. But Never like Maxine. So that's why she was so I know. Sorry, Mad Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is hot. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren. He hooked up with Stella? Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Max Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Well, that's episode three, Chaos Theory. <clears throat> Two more episodes to go. I'm going to take a little break here. I need to uh, run to the store and grab some food. And uh, get up out of this computer 
your chair for, <laughs> for just, you know, like a stretch and move around so I don't get a blood clot in my leg and die during the marathon. That would, uh, that would suck. So, thinking, yeah, probably about a half an hour, I'll be back for episode four of Life is Strange. And if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you can just click on the next episode when it's there. Obviously. Alright. <laughs>